low key a sugar baby. <laughs> Hi guys, so I saw this trend going around where people are asking their subscribers to assume something about them and they will confirm or deny it and I thought I would give a crack at it. I asked questions on Instagram and Snapchat, so I'm gonna find those on my phone. Let's get into it. Some of the assumptions were slightly insulting in nature, but for the most part, they were pretty decent. First one says, use a basic hoe. I don't consider myself basic, so I'm gonna say no, but like your interpretation could be different because my interpretation is like, you have to stick to mainly one category. And to me, there's like the Instagram baddie basic hoes, or there's like the Lily Pulitzer wearing basic hoes, or there's like the strictly Victoria's Secret Starbucks Sperry wearing, aka me my sophomore year in high school basic hoes. So like, I don't know. Maybe back in the day, yes. Now, I don't really think so. Maybe I'm thinking too deeply on that. I don't know. You love McDonald's. Facts. You're open-minded, but you want your astrology sign to vibe with your future friends. I think that's true. I don't like base everything on astrology. Like it is not the end all be all to anything in life. But for me, it's still like kind of important. So for example, like Haley and I, we have very similar charts, like natal charts, um, but we're also a water sign and a fire sign for our sun signs. So I think we balance each other out pretty well. You drink the blood of children. <laughs> I'm not a vampire. Contrary to like what this one dude at uh, Jason's Deli thought yesterday because oh my God, that was so creepy. There's this guy at Jason's Deli, he was working there and he just like kept coming up to Haley and I while we were eating and he commented on my nails. And then he commented on my like my eyes and he's like, oh yeah, she's a vampire, like better watch out for her. And he just like kept coming back. It was so uncomfortable. Like it was just a no. It was a no. And it was monsooning outside, so we couldn't leave yet. It was just really awkward. You're natural blonde. I am. I am a natural blonde. A lot of people like to fight me on that because my roots are getting darker. But like the same thing happened to my dad. Like my dad is a natural blonde and his hair as he got older, like just grew into like a kind of salt and pepper brunette. Hopefully mine doesn't do that because I don't think I would look too cute with that hair color even though I did have brunette hair at one point, but like, I don't know. I like my blonde hair. Naturally, my hair is like super, super, super light. When I was a baby, like I had almost platinum blonde hair. Low key a sugar baby. <laughs> Why does everyone think this? No, I don't have a sugar daddy. No, I'm not a sugar baby. Have I looked into it? Yes, many, many moons ago when I was 18. I wouldn't do that now though. No, no shade to like anyone who does, but like, I don't know. I just personally enjoy like being in charge of my own finances and I would not want to have to heavily rely on someone like that. So that's just me. Your friend zone is deep. Um, now, no. In high school, yes. In high school, I had hella hoes and therefore I had hella friend zoned guys. But I don't really, number one, I'm dating someone right now, so obviously I don't talk to guys like that. But in general, like, even before I was dating someone, I don't really, like, talk to that many guys anymore. And I wasn't, like, doing what I was doing in high school where I was literally balancing like four guys at a time, so no. I think in order to have like a deep friend zone, you would have to have like friends, <laughs> uh, which I don't have. To be honest, you seem a little conceited to me. I mean, you're cool, but IDK. I don't think I'm like necessarily conceited. I think it's more so I spent so many years being super, super, super insecure to the point where I literally like, hated myself and didn't want to leave the house. And now I don't view myself that way. So I feel like my confidence now comes off across as a lot. But at the same time, I don't think there's anything wrong with being like a tinge full of yourself. Not like completely where you think like the sun and the moon rise to greet you. I don't think there's anything wrong with having that level of confidence if it's not overpowering. Going to assume you voted. 
I did. I'm a huge advocate for voting, especially when you're younger. If you are eligible to vote and you're not voting, you suck as a human being. And if you're one of those people that is like, well, I don't really care because like, I'm not really into politics. Are you not into your future? If the younger generation is not voting, guess who's voting? The older people, especially the retired older people who have nothing to do during the day so they just go out and vote and then they're deciding things for our future when they're not even going to be around for that much longer. So, I know it is no longer election season, but you need to vote when you are given the opportunity. You got hoes. <laughs> They try to take it to town. I got hoes. Why does everyone think I have hoes? I don't even leave my house. How am I gonna have hoes if I don't leave my house? What? Slept with more than 10 people. Yes, you don't think you're as hot as you are. Overall, no. But like some days I really be feeling myself. But for the most part, no. I say this all the time on like live streams. But I acknowledge the fact that I am conventionally attractive, but I don't think I'm like the hottest thing to ever walk the earth. So, and a lot of people have told me that they put me on that status and I, I don't see that. So if I had to rate myself one to 10, which I hate doing, I'd probably give myself like an eight and a half, nine, depending on the day. You'd let me beat your ass without the beam. <laughs> What the fuck? Oh my god. No. Trusting people puts you in a vulnerable state because you like having control over your environment. Oof. I think it depends. And I know I say this a lot, but like I really do think it depends because like with certain people, I just completely like let my guard down immediately. And I feel like that's almost self-sabotage I do it in a way because it's always the people that end up fucking me over the most and I have like a really good sense of people so it's almost like I just let it happen because I'm like whatever they're not gonna be here long anyways and then it's with the people that I have like a really good feeling about that I really truly care about where I'm like very very guarded because I'm like oh shit like <laughs> If something goes wrong, this is gonna hurt. You can't play an instrument. False. A lot of you don't know this actually, but um, in middle school and a little bit of high school, I was classically trained in piano. You're short? Yes. A lot of people like to assume that I'm tall, but I'm like 5'2". You only eat at McDonald's. I actually don't even eat McDonald's that much anymore. Like I remember maybe 2016, I was eating McDonald's literally every single day of my life. And now I don't, I don't really, I don't know. I just don't eat it that much anymore. I do, however, go to like the same handful of places because I'm a creature of habit. You're spoiled and entitled. I acknowledge that I have tons of privilege, especially growing up. I was given many opportunities that a lot of people are not privy to because of the household that I was raised in. And I'm not denying that. However, being privileged and being spoiled and entitled are two totally different things in my opinion. Because yes, I'm privileged, but I don't expect things. Like I don't have a sense of entitlement that like, oh, this is who my parents are. This is how I was raised. So like I get this, this, and this. And a lot of people like to rebut with, oh, you still live at home. Yes, I live at home, but I help out. I pay rent, like it's, it's not like I sit around and do nothing and just expect the world to be handed to me on a platter. Like, I work. I make money. I am financially independent. You're extremely analytical. Yes. Yes, yes. 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 It is a blessing and a curse because I never take anything for face value. Like, I always have to research everything to the ends of the earth to find out something for myself, but it also... A major curse because I overthink every tiny little thing like someone could text me okay like the two letters instead of okay spelled out and I think that something's wrong for the most part and then my mind goes like a million miles a minute trying to figure it out okay guys that is it for this video if you like this video give it a thumbs up comment down below for further video suggestions follow me on all my social medias so they'll be linked down below as always subscribe for new videos I will see you guys tomorrow and stay Gucci